Hi. Um, hey, so we have a glass tube here um, filled with air, and what we're going to do is, is raise some molecules in this. So we're going to have, we're going to have in one side, we're going to have either ammonia or hydrochloric acid, and those mole and on the other side, the, the other gas, and the molecules are going to race um, towards each other, and we'll see what happens. Um, okay, so first, in this beaker I have some, and I always forget, I'm a little embarrassed to say, I either have ammonium hydroxide or hydrochloric acid. So to determine what it is, let's use blue litmus paper. So if blue litmus paper turns, BRA, blue, to, blue litmus paper turns red, it's an acid. Oh, it got a little bluer. So that must be the base. So let's go over here and see if this hmm, is that. See, it's turning red? Okay, so we know this is the acid. So on this side, we're gonna have, we have hydrochloric acid here. On this side, we're gonna have um, ammonium hydroxide, but when ammonium hydroxide uh, decomposes, it forms ammonia. So we're gonna race ammonia and hydrochloric acid. All right. Now the nice thing about about these about what happens when these guys meet each other is that when these gases meet each other they form a white precipitate. So you can see that white precipitate. Um, that's ammonium chloride. So when ammonia reacts with hydrochloric acid it forms a white precip a, a, a white solid. It's not really a, it's not a precipitate. A white solid, and we'll be able to see a ring in here. So what I want you to do is think about where that ring is going to form. We're going to put these gases. We're going to allow these gases to diffuse through the tube. We're going to put them in at the same time, and so if they met in the middle, that that would mean their speeds they 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 diffuse at the same rate. So think about. Ammonia here, HCl here, where will, where will the ring form? If it forms closer to the ammonia, that means HCl is faster. If it forms in the middle, same speed. If it forms here, that would mean that the ammonia was faster. So think about that, NH3 and HCl. Okay, all right, so let's do the race. Hopefully you're, you thought about that. Um, I usually have another person do this with me, but I'll try to do this. Don't breathe the gas. So I'm gonna saturate these little cotton balls with the with these liquids. That's fine. Okay. And at the same time, I'm gonna put them in. Go. Okay. And they're off. Good. Good. Stay in there. Stay in there. Stay in there. Cross contamination there. Don't put stopper there and a little stopper here all right so um, on this side ammonia on this side ammonia is coming off the cotton ball and it's diffusing through the air so the molecules are um, hitting air molecules and just moving around okay so think about their speed relative to, to the hydrochloric acid, the HCl vapor, that the speed of, of those guys. So the individual gases are in, you can't see the individual gases, but when they meet, they'll form that white ring. So this usually takes maybe five minutes or so, so we can stop videotaping and we'll get back to this. All right, we see the white ring. It is, let's see if I can get a good background here. Um, it's right there. I'm sorry, moving my camera around. Where's my finger? It's right there. Um, so again, we have the, this glass tube. We raised ammonia and um, hydrochloric acid vapor. And right here is the, right there is the ring, right there. Ammonium chloride. Okay, so it's right here, so you can tell Ammonia's to the left. Okay, so let's measure these distances. Um, this is round off to the nearest tenth place. So, looks like it's 
37. We got 37 from the ammonia side, okay? 37 centimeters from the ammonia side. And we have, sorry about that, um, 19.5 centimeters from the hydrochloric acid side. Okay, so 37, and what did I say, 19.5? We really should read the ruler to the tenth place, but we're just reading it to the, I mean to the hundredth place, we're reading it to the tenth place. So 37, 19.5. So figure out how much faster ammonia is. Okay, good.